I'm sure that when you started watching The Last of Us, the biggest question that came up to your mind was how and why is Ellie immune to the fungus? No, am I right? <laughs> you don't have to answer that. I know that I am. Well, okay, guys, that was the biggest question of all. Even those who had played the game couldn't even say very well why Ellie was immune. And that gave rise to, like, a bunch of theories, you know? One more complex than the other. The theory that she had a special variant of the fungus, the theory that she evolved and became resistant, and I even brought a video talking about that. Finally, it has been revealed why in the last episode of this series. So hang tight and keep your ball on that seat right there if you want to better understand this big reveal from the last episode. Hey nerd, what's up? I am Breno. And guess what? One of the many theories proved to be true. The theory was exactly as shown at the beginning of the last episode. That Ellie's mother would have been infected minutes before she gave birth. So Ellie would be immune to the fungus, you know, to the cordyceps. But this series has implemented a little bit more to this theory. The first edition was the actress who gave life to Ellie's mother, since she is actually the actress who played Ellie in the games, Ashley Johnson. And the second edition was when she won this gift from the infected during the gender review. Ellie's mother was still connected to Ellie by the umbilical cord, and that's when the magic happened. When the fungus entered Ellie's mother, it had already reached her brain, you know, as they always do. To then, after spread throughout the host's body. When it ran through the cord and found Ellie, the fungus itself thought it had already done all of its work, you know, infecting the host, which led to the fungus staying only in Ellie's brain without actually like evolving further, you know, and spreading through her body. That's crazy, right? Well, basically, when the fungus went through the cord, it found a second brain, Ellie's brain, and thought, hmm. I've been here before and stay there thinking its job infecting the body was done and it was okay but not on Ellie it was done in her mother thanks to that bite on her mother Ellie can have a normal life and not become a monstrous infected creature like the rest of the planet since when she gets bitten the fungus refused to spread further than her brain now guys come to think of it Ellie's mom accidentally found a way to create people immune to the fungus and possibly the cure for cordyceps. But of course, most likely no one would believe her. Would you believe it? Be honest. Of course you wouldn't. Guys, in a post-apocalyptic world where nobody believed and didn't trust even their own shadow, do you really think that anyone would believe in her mother? Everyone on this planet was already cynical as hell, you know what I mean? And even when they saw it, they still doubted like Joel did. He only believed it after Tess explicitly showed it to him. See, even though Marlene was a friend of Ali's mother, she and everyone else would think that the child would also become infected and kill her without blinking. That's why she didn't tell Marlene that little detail, you know what I mean? She threw in a little white lie, you know, saying that the birth went nicely. She cut the umbilical cord and only then did an infected appear due to you no know, hearing her screams in pain and only then did she become infected. If Marlene knew the truth and noticed that Ellie wasn't transforming, maybe then the attempts to create immune people would begin and even after Joel killed the only doctor capable of studying the fungus, the world would still have a chance of salvation. Of course, to make these people immune to the fungus would be like extremely inhumane. No, but it would be super necessary. All they gotta do is just go around, you know, talking to all the pregnant women that existed, and minutes before they gave birth, just infect them. You know, giving birth to, to another immune child. Here comes the hardest part though, dispatching all the infected in the world. If you can cleanse the world with people immune to the fungus, salvation will be like a matter of time. Now, of course, all this will never happen because the only person who knew that Ali had been infected was her mother who is dead. And the doctors who wanted to create a cure by studying Ellie's brain, who were also the only one capable of doing so, are also dead, thanks to Joel. So the world of The Last of Us will never get rid of the fungus or the infected, unless it happens again. Now I know what's the craziest part about all of this. It's this, it's this ball right here. So um, please, could you click on it and subscribe to the channel? Hey, <laughs> that would make me super happy since you know, you can see it down below, we have like 800 subscribers. If we can reach to 900, I don't know why I did that, but if we're gonna reach to 900, that'd be awesome. And I thank you so much for all the support that you guys are giving me. And of course, click on the little bell below because we get notified when our next video comes out. Oh, and by the way, I'll see you then. Peace.